Hello, my name is Chris, and today we will be doing more Fermi problems. Last time in this video, we discussed what a Fermi problem was and went over a classic example of a Fermi problem. Today, we will do some more. Now, I'm going to give you two problems, and what I present is just my solution. If you have a different solution or find something wrong with mine, please post it in the comments. Let's begin. In the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake in California, approximately 2 million library books fell off the shelves at the library at Stanford University. If you were the library administrator and wanted to hire enough part-time student labor to put all the books back on the shelves in two weeks, how many people would you hire? So here are my assumptions. It takes a student approximately 15 seconds to put a book on a shelf. A part-time worker works 20 hours per week. Therefore, the time it takes to put all the books back on the shelves is 2 million books times 15 seconds per book times 1 hour for every 3,600 seconds is 8,333 hours and 20 minutes of labor. The total number of hours one student worker works is 20 hours per week times 2 weeks, or 40 hours. Dividing 40 hours per student into 8,333 hours and 20 minutes gives gives you a result of 209 students. Therefore, you will need to hire 209 students for the job. How about another one? If the land area of the Earth were divided equally between everybody, how much space would you get? Okay, so my assumptions are, the radius of the Earth is 6,400 kilometers, or 6.4 million meters. The Earth is a sphere. Land comprises about one-third of the surface area of the Earth. There are 7 billion people living on Earth. Okay, the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi times the radius squared. So the surface area of the Earth is 4 pi times 6.4 million meters squared. And that result is 514 trillion, 790 eighteen billion five hundred and thirty one million five hundred and eighty four thousand square meters. Divide that by three and you get one hundred and seventy one trillion five hundred and seventy two billion eight hundred and forty three million eight hundred and sixty one thousand three hundred and thirty three meters squared. Finally divide that by seven billion people and you get twenty four thousand five hundred and ten meters squared per person. Okay, well that was fun. I will post some more problems in the description. Post any of your solutions to these problems in comments or in a video response. Thank you for watching and next time we say goodbye.